Hi, this video tutorial I will cover life cycle of a thread. When thread is created by thread constructor, the thread will be in new state. And when start method is called on the thread, the thread will go from new state to runnable state. Once thread is in runnable state, the thread scheduler will pick up the runnable thread and it will run the thread. So thread will go from runnable state to running state. From running state, thread can go to block state. From block state, thread can go to runnable state. When thread is running, if sleep method is called, then the thread will go to sleeping state. Once sleeping time is over, then the thread will go to sleeping state to runnable state. When the thread is running, if wait method is called, then the thread will go from running state to waiting state. And uh, thread goes from uh, waiting state to runnable state after thread gets notification through notify or uh, notify all method. From running state, thread will go to terminated state as soon as the run method ends. Whenever we instantiate an object of thread class, a new thread will be created. And initially, new thread will be in new state. And in new state, the thread is not ready to run. After creation of your thread, when we call start method of your thread, it changes the state of your thread from new to runnable. This transition does not make thread to run, but it makes a thread eligible to run. After reaching this state, Thread gets called from thread scheduler to run. The thread scheduler selects one of the runnable thread after processor becomes available to it. Generally, threads can move to block state due to various reasons. Some of the reasons are waiting for I.O. operation, waiting for any network connections, etc. Usually, a thread get back to its runnable state when it finishes its operation, which has blocked it. A block thread cannot be run by thread scheduler. It has to get back to runnable state to run. A thread can enter into waiting state by calling wait method over it. It can go to runnable state whenever another thread calls notify or notify all method to send notification to it for getting back to runnable state. When sleep method is calls on the thread, the thread will go to sleep state for a specified time interval. Once the specified time interval is over, it will go back to runnable state. When run method exit, the thread goes to terminated state. Once thread is terminated, it never gets back to runnable state. And this is about life cycle of a thread and thanks for watching.